Hi and welcome to the Permajet quick guide to using the Epson Advanced Black and White Driver. Now this is a very simple piece of software designed to give you far more neutral prints than people often experience when using profiles. If we have a look in Photoshop here we have a wonderful monochrome image by David Chow and we're going to attempt to print it with the Advanced Black and White Driver. So we go to File and print. Now this is CS5 for reference and on your print preview screen as you see here normally to print a colour image you would choose Photoshop manages colour, print a profile in place, rendering temp perceptual, black point compensation. To use the advanced black and white driver we're going to select let printer manage the colours. Now as you can see it greys out the profile still allows you to choose your rendering intent which will leave as perceptual. We've got the Epson 2880 as the selected printer so if we go to print settings here you get the normal printer driver which you'd expect to see. Still have to select your media type. We're going to print it on Permajet Fiber Base Royal, so we'll leave that as Epson Premium Gloss. However, as we would normally print color, we'll change this to the Advanced Black and White Photo. Print quality, still select your quality options for your print quality. You still want a good definition of print, so we'll leave it on 4, we'll untick the high speed, and go across, once that customer's ticked, go across to the advanced option. Now this is the advanced black and white driver window which allows you to make subtle adjustments, colour toning if you wish, changing things to warm or sepia tone as you'll see in the preview. We'll set that back to neutral but the main, one of the main controls is the tone. A lot of people will like to use it on normal which is how their image started however to get denser richer blacks you do have this control to change to dark darker or darkest. It defaults to darker we'll leave it on that at the moment. Now often you can just say OK OK and then print at this point however if you still get subtle color casts you can use the controllers on the color wheel here as you can see the little crosshair moving to make very fine adjustments. You can move it by hand if you wish but it's obviously less precise and slightly trickier to deal with. What I would suggest is if you have a cast say towards magenta move it, the crosshair diagonally away from that particular problematic color. So on this occasion we'll move it three points across, three points up, so moving it accurately diagonally away. I would move it no more than seven or eight points away from the centre simply because if you move it to any further than that you tend to get a cast towards the colour you're moving at. Now you do have a lot of other subtle control, brightness, contrast, shadow tonality etc. What I would suggest is a trial and error approach to using this particular software. Where, uh, where profiles are very accurate and are very static, monochrome is very far more subjective and you can tweak the points to finite end result that you prefer or that you're trying to achieve. Once we've okayed that, everything else is set as per normal. We're still setting our paper size to whatever we wish and we go through press OK and that will give you a neutral monochrome print or the ability to play around and get subtle adjustments on an image that initially started off very very neutral. 